So, it's been quite a number of months since I have did these initial videos. I hadn't really expected much to come of them, and truthfully, I kind of grew out of motivation. But I've received some comments asking for me to continue, so as much for myself as well as for everyone who's currently following these videos along, what we're going to do is have a quick recap of where we are, and look at where we're trying to go. So, when we're thinking about a model in IES, And we're going to do a very simple building here. We need to add some stuff to this model in order to be able to make it workable. Now, depending on what we're looking at, depends on what we need to put into it. If we are just looking at the solar considerations for the building, then we need to do a lot less than if we're looking for energy expenditures within the building. But let's assume for the moment that we're trying to make a model for looking at the energy expenditure of a building over the course of a year. So for this building, we're going to need some sets of data. First of all, we're going to need the geometry. And we've already started doing that. We've added in the walls, the roofs and the windows. We're going to need, let's move that out of the way. We're going to need to add in a location, which we've done already. We need to know about surrounding stuff. And again, We've done that already. We need to add some stuff about constructions. We need to know how the building is going to perform. And while we haven't necessarily modeled the roof, we, we've already covered that process. So what's left? Well, we have how the building is going to operate. So we need to know the set points of the systems. We need to know the internal gains. We need to know the systems themselves. And if our building is naturally ventilated, we also need to think about how those, how we're going to model the ventilation. So like I've said, we've already done some of these bits. We've already modeled the surrounding stuff, our location's done. Our geometries in, our constructions, well, for our purposes, they're in. So now we need to look at these final steps. But before we do that, we actually do have a model that could be used for certain things. If we wanted to, we absolutely could use this model to look at solar gains. So I think in the next couple of video or two, I'm just going to show some quick analysis tools via the Suncast. And we're going to have a look at the eff effect of the solar radiation on our building. Then just setting up our method for going forward. We're going to then look at setting up the internal gains and set points of our building. We'll then run some analysis off so I can begin to show you how to look at data within this tool. And part of the strength, part of the main power of using IES is that we can have some very sophisticated tools for looking at data. 
and quite often that step gets put to the wayside or forgotten about is just how powerful it is. We'll then look at, we will set up some ventilation for this as well, but it will be quite basic. So I'm gonna put it here, basic. That means we're just gonna give it a figure. And after that, we will look at how we might look at naturally ventilated buildings before finally dealing with the systems, which this tends to be the last thing that we deal with. And we'll see that there's two ways of doing this. I'm only going to deal with the simplified method in these videos. So that's all this video is gonna cover. And in the next video, we're gonna start tackling this first bit of analysis.